I was here in Israel and I needed an ending to my movie. I had asked God to allow me to film something impossible, something that only he could do. The only problem was I didn't exactly know what I wanted him to do. My first thought was maybe he'd let me film a resurrection from the dead, forgetting that he'd already risen somebody from the dead in Israel 2,000 years ago, and we don't really need a sequel to that one. But then I was in this room, and my friend Todd White was sitting right over there, and I was reading a guidebook because we were heading to Jerusalem the next day. I had two days left to film, and I still had no ending. I was sitting in this chair when I came upon a section about the Dome of the Rock. So I asked my friend Gary, who lives here, to tell me about the Dome. Well, to begin with, in Jewish understanding, the dome covers the rock, or it's a high point that uh, you remember where David purchased uh, a winnowing, a high place where they would winnow the wheat and the barley. Um, And that was the high place. And they believed that that high place was where Abraham sacrificed or started to sacrifice Isaac. And in Jewish understanding, they also believe that that's where God fashioned Adam. So on that very rock, which then the temple was built upon, had tremendous history. It's like the center of the center for Jews. But in the 600s, when the, 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 the Muslims invaded the land, they, they took over and it sort of went into disrepair. But then they, they covered that rock with, uh, with what you now see, that structure. And it's probably one of the oldest surviving structures. And that's what's called the Dome of the Rock. And it surrounds that dome. And inside is still is that, that ancient spot, which is the center of the center for Jews. But when the Muslims took it over, it became known, that whole platform and that rock became known as their third holiest site in the world. You know, you had um, Mecca being first, and then uh, don't forget the other one is second, both in Saudi Arabia, and then this being the third. So, so you have it being the, the the holiest site for Jews and the third holiest site for Islam for for Muslims. Now they will allow uh, uh, they will allow non-Jewish uh, to go up there, non-Muslim to go up there only through a certain gate and only at certain times. So so they didn't allow anybody up there except to go on the Temple Mount, but not to go inside the Dome of the Rock. That was after 2000. After 2000. All right, so let's go back in time five years. I'm here with Todd White. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Well, I remember when... (laughs) I remember when you first said, well, tell me about the Dome of... The Rock, and so we told you a little bit of history, and and then you said uh, we want to go in there, <laughs> and I kind of froze, thinking you don't know what you're asking, because uh, you can't go in there. I mean, it's Ramadan for one thing, and they really shut down uh, people that are non-Muslim from going up on the Temple Mount, except for very special things during Ramadan, because they don't want to risk a riot. Uh, and and it's 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 impossible. I mean, one to get on the Temple Mount, but it's really impossible to get into the Dome of the Rock. And so, when you said we want to get into the Dome of the Rock, I think I was very quick to say, as well as my wife, "Oh, that's impossible. You can't do that." And we were trying to be nice to you because you didn't know. <laughs> you didn't know what you were asking. From, from you know, I mean, we have a tiny apartment there, as you know, real close. And that's that's our hood. And we know that you, you can't do that. So uh, when you, you ask about that, we said, no, you can't do that. And we thought that you'd listen to us and that you and just decided, no, we won't do that. But no, you <laughs> you were determined. Uh, and I remember when you all left. Do you want me to tell that part of the story? Tell it all, tell it all. Uh, when you all left, uh, that Cindy and I both were going, those guys are nuts. <laughs> they're just like, I mean, they can't do what they think they're going to do. They don't understand the dynamics and they don't understand how uh, that's not just a current event. Uh, tension place 
it's millennia old tension spot. And, uh, and it's a place that God has p- put his mark on. And, and, and people are vying for that spot. It's like you can't ask for the high, it's the highest real spiritual spiritual slash physical real estate in the world. 